In this section, I'm going to be talking about transportable electronic magnifiers like the MagniLink Zip. There are a range of not exactly portable in the sense that they are small and battery powered, but larger screen versions of electronic magnifiers that are still light enough to be able to be moved from room to room. Uh, for example, the MagniLink Zip here folds up into a small carry bag and weighs about six kilos and can be moved uh, quite easily from room to room. The assembly is very straightforward. So what we do is we simply grasp the back of the MagniLink, pull up the back arm and then fold up the 17-inch screen and just adjust the camera just, just here. So the camera is... Um, this area here, looking down at the platen area here. It is, as you can see, adjustable in various positions and also can be twisted around the room as well by the student so that they can aim at the blackboard um, or just twist it into its cradle to be looking down at the paperwork here. So. So the device is quite lightweight. We can place the reading material simply under the screen area here. The screen can be lifted or lowered to suit the height required. Simple zoom control here. And as you can see, very large magnifications are possible. We can also switch to high contrast here and adjust the background brightness just with a, a dial there. At any time we can go back to natural colour and this of course allows us then to look at uh, photographs and so on in the, uh, in the original magazine. It also allows us to do writing tasks. Now this is a very important function that can't be done with the portable electro electronic magnifiers because there's not enough working room. Here of course the screen is raised up so that gives us some working room to bring our paperwork in underneath and to be able to write, uh, fill in multiple choice, draw pictures and so on. So it's very responsive live mode that a student can use in a very transportable sort of way. Now the other feature of this kind of device is the ability not just to look at your materials below the screen, but also by grabbing the camera at the top, we can also look at distant um, views as well. So I'm just going to aim it out of the room now at through the window and this is looking across at the buildings across from our building and that sort of distance we're talking about there is about a hundred meters. Obviously in a classroom situation you're only talking about uh, you know five to ten meters and so on um, but this means that the whiteboard can be viewed um, so as you can see here, it's really quite a, a powerful long distance high definition camera that we have here. And the student is in control. They are moving the camera themselves. They are zooming as required. Um, and um, they are in control of that process without having to require a teacher aid uh, to read the board for them and so on. Of course, bear in mind there are electronic solutions for reading the whiteboard as well, and we'll talk about those in another section.